All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to jump right into Unit 21. Uh, unit 21 has both mule deer and coos whitetail deer, guys. So when you are applying, um, you will have to look exactly what you're applying for. So it is differentiated between mule deer and coos deer. The seasons are separated. Unlike a lot of the previous units that I have talked about before, where it's any antler deer is the legal deer. In 21, they separate it because there is a good coos deer population and there is a good mule deer population. And a lot of them, there's a, they, they actually exist in a lot of the same country. Um, as we know, coos whitetail deer, uh, they prefer sky island country. They prefer higher elevation country, uh, typically in desert, in the desert environment. And Arizona has like the perfect environment. The Sonoran Desert kind of has this like desert floor to really, really high uh, mountains type environment, which the coos deer prefer. But the Mogollon Rim, which I'm going to be referring to, in the next few videos, unit 21, 22, 23, uh, and 27, I'm going to be referring to the rim, and that is the Mogollon Rim, which is the northern boundary to all of these units. Um, the Mogollon Rim is a geographical uh, structure. Basically, it's just a, I don't know, I'm not a uh, geologist, but it's its a giant rim, um, and uh, it's, it's not necessarily like a canyon, but it just forms this huge uh, uh, basically line across, uh, central Arizona where it drops from juniper high country elevation. And it drops all the way down to the desert floor when you get closer to Phoenix. So the rim or the Mogollon rim, um, is creates uh, a habitat environment where so many different animals can thrive. So unit 21 has basically every animal that you can hunt. Um, it's got elk, deer, black bear, uh, mule deer and coos deer and got javelina. There is not really a huntable population of antelope um, or anything like that, but it's got the main species. It's got everything you'd want. So, and, and good, good populations. The elk are a little bit minimal, but I think they're going to grow in the future in unit 21. So let's talk mule deer. Mule deer in 21, um, basically they, they do exist all throughout unit 21. However, the majority of the population is, on, I would say, the southern half um, as you get out of Phoenix. And uh, it, basically, Unit 21 is north of Phoenix, dire directly northeast of Phoenix. It runs, the, runs east along I-17 all the way up to Camp Verde. Um, and the eastern boundary, which is really, really cool, is the Verde River. So the eastern boundary separates Unit 21 and 22 and it's a Verde River, really cool remote country. There's some cool wilderness area in there. If you are uh, capable and a hardcore DIY guy, something to check out um, all that country in there. It's very remote and can be very dangerous. So be careful. There's not a whole lot of access with uh, just roads and also just, you know, if you go get lost in there, it's not, not a good place to get lost. Um, so the Eastern boundary is the Verde River, which um, holds everything, but for mule deer specifically, um, if I was targeting mule deer, I would target some of the lower rolling hill type country getting off of the rim. So I would really focus on that lower half of the unit. Again, there is mule deer up higher, uh, up around Camp Verde and all that stuff. But for the most part, coos deer inhabit a lot of that northern rim country habitat. Uh, so I would really, if I was looking for a good desert mule deer, um, I, and I'm showing you guys on the map some of the stuff that I would focus on uh, for mule deer, I would focus on that southern half. So the coos deer, and just to touch on the draw, the draw is fantastic, guys. Unit 21 is a fantastic place to draw a tag. It's a fantastic place to start hunting. If it's your first deer tag ever, awesome. 21 is a great place to start because you can draw it every couple years. Um, the draw odds are really good, really good in relation to how the quality of animals is. So a lot of times you'll see draw odds are really, really good and that just the quality of hunting is trash. So 21 is one of those units that's like in between. The draw odds are, are good and the animals are good. So the mule deer are good. You can shoot really quality mule deer. The coos deer are really, really, you can shoot really big coos deer. And, and also some of the other hunting like, like black bear and elk, you can do that as well. So it's a great unit to get your feet wet and a great unit to really learn because it has everything and it's very easily to uh, 
run around in. I mean, it's a great unit. You can access it quick out of Phoenix. You can ask, access it quick from the Northern boundary, which is unit 17 or highway 17. You can access it pretty much anywhere. And there's lots of roads, really easy to uh, run around and do a bunch of scouting. So, but I'm going over the stuff on the map and then uh, understand that these units are favorable for as a non-resident or resident for bonus points. So most of these places, for Coosier or Mule Deer, I mean, it's only a couple points will get you in the door. Um, you know, for Mule Deer, it's usually, you know, in that four point range, it's what it looked like from last year. And then uh, for Coosier, it's in that same thing. I mean, some of the, it depends on the hunt you get. Obviously the December hunt is gonna be harder to draw as in all December hunts, but you can draw this every couple years. So I like 21. I had to go off on a little tangent just because I think it's a great unit and it's a great unit for people to start hunting to just, to just an entry level area where it's not gonna, you, you don't have to drive six hours to get to it. You're not in crazy remote, dangerous country the whole time. Um, and and it, there's enough animals to keep you occupied and keep you uh, moving and, and, and understand that there's a chance that you're gonna be successful. So I like those, I like that combination what 22 has to offer. Let's talk Coosier. Coosier, uh, same thing. So Coosier, there's actually, three different hunts, but mainly the two first hunts. So the mule deer is kind of sandwiched in. So uh, Coosier hunt late October, and then they hunt in a mid uh, November hunt. And those are relatively easy to draw too. The December tag is hard to draw and uh, rightfully so just because they only give out a few tags. And, uh, but guys, a great place to draw a tag for, for Coosier. The Coosier live in a little bit more rugged country. Um, anytime that you get closer up further north up on the rim, it's going to be rugged. They like canyons. They like water. They like that really, really steep stuff. So if I was hunting Coosier, I would be focusing on the northern half of the unit um, and specifically some of the stuff that I'm going over and I went over in the map where um, if I'm pointing to areas in the northern half, that's kind of Coosier country. Uh, areas in the southern half is more mule deer centric. Um, just from a place to start, just where the populations are best and where you'd have a chance. I, I'm assuming that I, I wanna just pretend that nobody's ever been there before. And if I was just gonna send you into a place, this is where I'd send you that type of scenario. So um, northern half of stuff, look in some of those big canyons, um, get acquainted with the rim, get acquainted with um, kind of how Coosier move because Coosier, I haven't talked about it yet this year, but that now we're getting into all these units that share mule deer and Coosier and Coosier have different habits than mule deer. So you really want to research some of the habits they have, uh, some of the terrain they like and, and just kind of their patterns because it's very, very different. If you've been hunting Coosier for a long time um, and then you go try to hunt mule deer, it's a, it can be tricky in the rifle season. And same thing, if you've all you've ever hunted is mule deer or Eastern whitetail, um, it, the habits are, are tricky and you got to learn them. And that's why scouting is super important guys. So get out there. Um, if you draw a 21 tag for Coosier or Mule Deer, congratulations. Awesome place to start. I highly recommend it. This is a highly recommended unit, um, in my perspective, just because of the opportunity that you have in multiple different species in multiple different times of year. And the draw odds are great for a resident and non-resident. So um, that's kind of my spiel for 21. I really like it, guys. Um, and it, again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, inquiries, if you want to know about guiding or scouting or or uh, drop camps or anything like that, if you're a DIY guy, you want to get in there and and uh, and, and have some of the legwork done before you get out there and just go hunting, uh, hit me up. All my stuff is in the description below. I hope this helped. I hope this encourages anybody that's on the fence of of maybe uh, what 21 is all about. I I. I I say go for it. It's a good, good unit to start with. And it's a good unit if you've been hunting for a long time too. So that goes without saying. You can get in there, you can, you can grind it out, and you can find big animals. So good luck, guys. We'll talk soon. See ya.